the Andromeda galaxy played a crucial role in reshaping our understanding of the universe, challenging the notion that Earth occupied a central position in cosmic affairs. It was a watershed moment highlighting that the Milky Way, our home galaxy, was just one of countless others strewn across the vast expanse of space. Advancements in observational technology, particularly the deployment of instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, have allowed us to peer deeper into the cosmos, unraveling the mysteries of Andromeda. However, recent revelations stemming from data captured by the James Webb Telescope have appended many long-held beliefs about this neighboring galaxy. Over a century ago, the prevailing view of the Milky Way was that of a faint diffused band of light stretching across the night sky. This perception, influenced by the limited technological capabilities of the time, hindered astronomers' ability to discern individual stars within our galaxy. Instead, various beliefs persisted, often associating the Milky Way with the epicenter of creation, where the celestial and terrestrial realms converged. It wasn't until the 17th century that our perception of the Milky Way underwent a revolutionary transformation, courtesy of Galileo Galilei and his pioneering work with a telescope. Using the 100-inch Hooker telescope at the Mount Wilson Observatory, Hubble identified distant nebulae beyond the Milky Way, demonstrating that there were distinct galaxies in their own right, each containing billions of stars. Among these galaxies was the Andromeda Galaxy or M31, one of the closest to our own. Andromeda's history of observation dates back centuries, with records of its existence found as far back as the 10th century when the Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi described it as a small cloud. Despite the lack of telescopic instruments, al-Sufi's keen observational skills allowed him to identify Andromeda as a celestial entity separate from the familiar stars dotting the night sky. Detailed observations of Andromeda began in earnest in 1612 when Simon Marius provided a more comprehensive description based on telescopic observations. Later, in 1764, Charles Messier catalogued Andromeda as M31, unwittingly attributing its discovery solely to Marius and overlooking Al-Sufi's earlier identification. Significant strides in understanding Andromeda were made in 1864 when English astronomer William Huggins made groundbreaking observations, further elucidating the nature of this enigmatic galaxy. Andromeda, despite its immense size, is estimated to have a mass between one and two trillion times that of our Sun. This colossal cosmic structure, residing relatively close to us in the expanse of space, has intrigued scientists for centuries. With an estimated age of around 10 billion years, Andromeda is considered ancient in cosmic terms, hinting at a rich history of formation and evolution. One intriguing aspect of Andromeda's origin is the hypothesis that it formed through the merger of several smaller protogalaxies over billions of years. Andromeda's physical dimensions, however, remain a point of agreement among astronomers. With a diameter of approximately 220,000 light-years, Andromeda surpasses the Milky Way in size. Its vast dimensions make it a significant cosmic entity, occupying a large region of space. The complexities involved in accurately measuring the mass of galaxies underscore the challenges of studying these immense cosmic structures. Galaxies are intricate systems, and their mass is intricately linked to the distribution and movements of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter within them. This necessitates sophisticated observational techniques and meticulous analysis, which were not available until modern times. One of the most fascinating features of Andromeda is its active galactic nucleus, a highly energetic region at the galaxy's center powered by a supermassive black hole. Observations with advanced telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed intriguing phenomena within the Andromeda nucleus, including two points of concentration where emissions are more intense than in surrounding areas. These observations shed light on the dynamic processes occurring at the heart of Andromeda and deepen our understanding of galactic nuclei. The supermassive black hole at the heart of the Andromeda galaxy commands immense gravitational influence, with its mass estimated to range from 1.1 to 2.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 solar masses, or approximately 110 to 230 million times the mass of our Sun. Supermassive black holes are believed to be common fixtures in the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way, and their presence profoundly shapes the evolution and dynamics of these cosmic structures. When matter, such as gas and stars, ventures too close to a supermassive black hole, it forms an accretion disk around it. This disk, comprised of swirling material, heats up and emits intense radiation across various wavelengths, 
contributing to the luminosity of the galactic nucleus. These ring galaxies are considered rare cosmic phenomena, with only approximately 1 in 10,000 galaxies classified as such. Astronomers have proposed two main mechanisms for the formation of ring galaxies. Firstly, they can form through the collision of two or more galaxies. Alternatively, a smaller galaxy passing through the center of a larger galaxy can trigger the formation of a ring-like structure. Examples of ring galaxies thought to have formed through galactic collisions include the Cartwheel Galaxy, Galaxy Pyram 20264, over 24, and AR-147, showcasing the intricate interplay of cosmic dynamics. However, what's currently unfolding is even more intriguing. Scientists predict that the Milky Way Galaxy and the Andromeda Galaxy are on a collision course and will eventually merge to form a new supergalaxy. This colossal event has garnered attention worldwide, even inspiring playful nicknames like Milkamida or Milkdromeda. While these nicknames may evoke whimsy, the consequences of this merger for humanity could be profound. As the two galaxies approach each other, their immense gravitational forces will distort each other's shapes, leading to tidal interactions where stars, gas, and dust are pulled between the galaxies. Eventually, the galaxies will overlap, causing mayhem and destruction as the merging process progresses. Stars, gas clouds, and dust clouds from both galaxies will interact and mix together, potentially forming new star clusters and structures within the newly merged galaxy. The collision will trigger bursts of star formation in regions where gas clouds collide and compress, creating new stellar nurseries. The merging process will also have significant effects on Earth. The alterations in the solar system's environment could impact Earth's climate and weather patterns, potentially leading to disruptions in habitats, shifts in biodiversity, and local extinctions. As climate and ecosystems undergo transformation, habitats for various species may become less hospitable or shift entirely. Many animal species rely on specific migration patterns for breeding, foraging, and survival. Disruptions in these migration routes and timings due to changing habitats and climate could pose challenges in finding food, water, and suitable breeding sites. The shifting climate and habitats may also lead to changes in biodiversity within ecosystems. While some species may thrive in the new conditions, others may struggle to adapt, potentially leading to local extinctions. The collision is projected to begin approximately 4 billion years from now, with the entire merging process taking another 2 billion years to complete. By that time, our sun is expected to evolve into a red giant, rendering our solar system uninhabitable long before the galactic merger occurs. If descendants of our species or other life forms exist billions of years from now, they will likely be vastly different from us in evolutionary history. The fate of our solar system within the new supergalaxy remains uncertain, with possibilities ranging from ejection into the intergalactic medium to incorporation into the new galactic structure. The stability of the new galactic structure will influence the potential for habitable planets to exist within it. While liquid water is considered crucial for the development and sustenance of life, the interaction between stars and potential gravitational disturbances may impact planetary orbits and environmental conditions. Life that emerges in the new galaxy would likely undergo adaptation to its specific environment, potentially giving rise to unique forms of life distinct from those on Earth. However, it's unlikely that humans of today would be able to survive in this new galaxy without significant evolutionary changes. Ultimately, the evolution and sustainability of life in the new galaxy will depend on various factors, including the specific conditions of the environment and the ability of organisms to adapt to them. While the merger of galaxies presents intriguing possibilities for the emergence of new forms of life, it also underscores the dynamic nature of the cosmos and the continuous evolution of life within it.